what's up good people and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bond over our favorite tv shows trending topics and everything in between that we care about so today we have the story of passion jeffrey and her son Taylor mosley the body of two-year-old Taylor mosley who had been the subject of a frantic search after his mother was slain was found in saint petersburg lake in the jaws of an alligator Immediately after Passion was found deceased in her home, police issued an Amber Alert, deployed drones, a helicopter, dive teams, and brought in bloodhounds from the Manatee County Sheriff's Office K-9 unit to search for Little Taylor. Everyone had intensely been looking for Taylor since his mother's body was discovered in her apartment in late March, but he was nowhere to be found. Officers eventually searched for the toddler at a lake a few miles from the apartment complex and noticed an alligator with an object in its mouth. They then quickly realized it was Taylor's body. The police then fired shots at the reptile, which then dropped Taylor's body. The police chief was quoted as saying, we were able to retrieve Taylor's body intact and the alligator was euthanized. Passion Jeffrey, who worked at a CVS store, and her son were last seen by family members around 5.20 p.m. on Wednesday, March the 29th. That day, Passion had hosted a birthday party for her boyfriend, Thomas Mosley, who had turned 21. After all the guests left the party, police have said around 8.30 p.m., neighbors heard a loud commotion near their apartment, but the police were not called. On the morning of Thursday, March 30th, Passion's family grew worried when they could not reach her for their daily FaceTime call. So they went to her apartment where they found blood on the sidewalk leading outside. Passion's mother then contacted the Lincoln Shores apartment complex property manager who unlocked Passion's apartment door. That's when they found her deceased body and it was quoted as a very violent crime scene in which Passion had been stabbed over a hundred times. Passion's body was found sprawled on the bathroom floor next to a bloody shoe print with a Gucci emblem. And her boyfriend Thomas also left his fingerprints on a bloody cleaning bottle found under the bed. After allegedly committing the heinous act, Thomas Mosley left Passion's house around 8.40 p.m. and went to the lake near the Dale Holmes Park, where his son was later found inside of the alligator's mouth. Thomas Mosley then went to his mother's house nearby around 9 p.m. with cuts on his arms and hands. He later went to St. Anthony's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida, where he was admitted with cut wounds on his hands and arms that were consistent with injuries caused by slippage during a knife attack, according to the affidavit. The chief of police was quoted as saying, the father is not talking to us. Thomas Mosley also refused to talk to investigators. After refusing to speak, Thomas Mosley then requested an attorney. Days later, the sixth Judicial Circuit Public Defender spokesperson, Sarah Moley, said in a statement, due to the extremely serious allegations surrounding these tragic losses, our investigation is currently focused on gathering information about the facts and circumstances of this case. And due to the extremely serious allegations surrounding these tragic losses, our investigation is currently focused on gathering information about the facts and circumstances of the case, as well as our client's mental state. Early on during the investigation, the police had not revealed how Taylor Mosley was unalive or whether the alligator played any role in that. However, it is now being stated that Mosley allegedly did throw or place his two-year-old son, Taylor, into a lake, inflicting mortal wounds that caused the child's passing, according to one of the affidavits. Passion's family said that she had just moved into the apartment complex to start living on her own while taking care of her young son. And her aunt was quoted as saying, this was her first month to have lived here, and she was very happy to have a better place than where she had been before. And for a 20 year old, she was doing well. She wanted more out of life. Her family went on to say, we will miss her smile, her joyous laughter and commentary on life. And they also shared that two year old Taylor was a sweet and happy toddler who loved his mom. Thomas Mosley was booked in the Pinellas County Jail on Friday, according to the website of the sheriff's office. He is scheduled for a bond hearing on April 11th. Thomas Mosley is facing two counts of first degree M, according to the affidavits. And it was also stated that if Thomas does not plead guilty, 
It can take up to two years before this case will see a trial. Nevertheless, wishing condolences to Passion and Taylan's family and all loved ones and friends involved.